Teruel. Montañas vacía, this is where we start. My bike is parked there, and I'm here with a special person, Ernesto Pastor. Ernesto is the guy that designed the route Montañas Vacia that was uh, uh, awarded by bypacking.com the best route of the world. Uh, 2019. I was a bit worried as well about the problems about the population in these areas. And I, just, well, I was starting to see that uh, in other parts of the world uh, they were starting to create some of these projects like the, uh, trying to show that bikes can be a tool for change to, to fight against these kind of problems with, with population and the population. We can say that the, the whole area that covers the route, it has less than one inhabitant per square kilometer. But it's practically nothing. It's, it's only comparable to the north of Lapland in, in, in Finland and in Norway. But with a better climate. <laughs> with better climate, not in winter. Winter is so cold here as well. But the point is that in the real Lapland, the population is kind of uh, constant, but here it's still going down and down and down every year. So uh, I was starting to feel in my mind that, uh, that, that this kind of trip, this kind of route could be a, a nice tool for changing or for trying to inspire. So everything started like an experiment, trying to, to show first to myself if, if it could be possible to, to leave a positive impact in the area thanks to, to a repacking route. So I just try to design the best strategy to, to get that. So I, I knew that the bypacking.com was the main uh, place where uh, the best routes in the world uh, want to be. So my main purpose was to get an article there. Uh, so I was trying hard to make drawings, to draw maps, to, to make a nice text. So I sent the route there uh, and, and they didn't answer anything in, in five or six months. But then by mistake, one of the editors of the web page was right in, the, in this area. So I could meet him. I told him about the route. Yeah, they never answered. I submitted the route and they yeah. never answered. It's yeah. five years now. They yeah. haven't answered. <laughs> yeah, but it was after talking with this guy when he discovered that this area was so, so good that I said, I sent five months, five months ago a route to bypacking.com and I didn't have any answer and he told me this route has to be definitely in bypacking.com. So in a couple of days, the route was there and everything changed. A lot of people from USA, from, from UK started to come and it was the, the, the best start point because, because Spanish people started to come when they realized that the people from out of Spain were starting to come. Yeah. So it was the best start for the route. We had the pandemic in the middle of the... This is now the, fi the, the fifth season, number five. Uh, so we had the pandemic in the middle and, and it was curious to, to discover that some of the uh, accommodations and bars and shops brought me to say thank you because they survived in the pandemic thanks to the travelers, Spanish travelers and then uh, Europeans travelers again. And did you get any help, any any grants from uh, European Union or for the community here no. to to pay back your work? No, it, it was uh, it was part of my, my my plan. My plan was trying to create something with no money to show what can get one single person with no money to improve the quality of life in in, in my own area. So. That's great. Yeah, yeah. I think that my message is much stronger if I do it without any help. Yep. Yeah. Why people yeah. should come? Yeah, for me, the main, the main reason is that you will discover here uh, like a virgin landscape that is not possible anymore to find in, in, in Western Europe. Uh, I mean, uh, you will find a perfect quality of sound. You will find perfect skies at night. Uh, silence is one of the best, best treasures of this area and the experience of riding for days and days without seeing, and without hearing soul is for me the main treasure of this So the, the route is about 650 kilometers. Yeah. There are many variants you can yeah. do in the middle as well. Yeah. So you can break it in uh, smaller, um, smaller trips 
But the bigger route is 650, okay. about 650 kilometers. How many days usually people uh, take it on a bikepacking setup? Yeah, for me, I would recommend to, to ride the route in seven to nine days, something like that, to do it in a relaxed way. Eight, nine for me would be the perfect. Uh, you could do it faster for sure, but you will not get in that so yeah. deeply. In the it's not going to be as meditated. <laughs> <laughs> clockwise or anti-clockwise? Yeah, I think the best way is, as is explained in the, in the guide, that is anti-clockwise, uh, because it's the way I designed it, it's the way I think is the, the most beautiful uh, direction to follow the route. Yeah. All right. You could do it in both, for sure. Yeah. But anti-clockwise it is. Yeah. I saw the elevation. It's uh, it's quite hard as any route in uh, in Spain. It's maybe a little less hard than uh, Badlands because there's probably not like you go up to Pico Veleta yeah. and that's a big chunk. But yeah, it's it looks very hard on uh, on paper, and uh, yeah, I just look forward to to discover new this new route in uh, in Spain. I cannot leave Spain. It's uh, it's incredible. <laughs> there is one route after the other. So now is Montaña Vacía. And thank you very much to Ernesto to put it together. Thank you, David, for coming here for being part of this. Yes. Centro Historico. We are in the center of Turuel. As you can see, there are the bike packers that they finish the Montañas Vacía. This is the place where we start the Montañas Vacía. But those two guys, they just finished. Very fast, very light. They did it in four days. After talking to Ernesto, I went to Mercadona, but now it's time to start. And look at this tower, very beautiful. There are a few of those towers. where the dirt starts across the bridge from the old town. That's it. There's no way back. Montañas vacías. That's the well. The windmills, it was where we were yesterday. And yeah, already first kilometers, I would say. Very nice and gentle. Now I have two problems. First problem, I forget to get a coke before leaving Teruel, which I will. S wow, look at this view. What's going on here? Holy moly. Look at that. Looks like uh, the desert of Gorafe. A little less desert. My second problem is I forgot to withdraw money from the ATM in Terroir. Money are never my priority but I don't think you can pay with credit card in any of the villages. So it would have been nice to have a few euros to spend here and there. Yes. I, I guess I'll be, I'll be very, very cheap. Incredible. And we just started. We just started. Spain is too beautiful. Too, too pretty. It's a problem. It's a problem. This property is for sale. It'd be nice if someone wants to move to Spain and turn these properties into a bike bar. For the people doing the Badlands, they can stop here, chill, charge their uh, power banks, have a ice coke, and continue. 
What a place. This is the first village of the empty Spain, Montañas Vacías. Be nice if there was a bit of water. The trail goes left here, but I want to check if there is a, some signs of water somewhere. There is a church down there. Let's see. The village uh, is too small, had no bar, so no cold coke. Yes, cold coke. I asked one guy if there was a, a bar or a fountain. He told me there is the fountain, there is no bar. But if you want, I can give you a coke. His wife went to the kitchen and brought out two cold cokes without caffeine. She told me they are without caffeine. Is it okay? That's okay. I'll do, I'll do drugs tomorrow. And I got some tomatoes, cucumber. Then I went to the fountain and I washed my clothes. So they are clean and wet, which is cooling me down a lot. Well, look at this beauty. Montañas Vacías. The empty Spain. This is where I'm going to pitch my tent. It's the only spot that yeah, it doesn't have any stones. My trail is up here like a few hundred meters. It goes down that way. Yeah, I'm uh, tired and I'm going to spend the night here. And I can't wait to cook my tortellini now. I'll see you in the morning, guys. Buenos dias, I'm pack. I'm pack, I'm good to go. My trash is here. Great night, great night. Until uh, I finish my dinner, went into my tent and looked up. It was an uh, incredible sky and uh, I felt uh, I was out of place because I was in, uh, in between trees and I didn't have a full view of the sky. But tonight I'm not going to make the same mistake. Let's go. 
Montañas Vacia, day two. My day two. Most people will be further, further. But I started very late. Anyway, I don't care. Montañas Vacia, beautiful. It's 11 o'clock. I have uh, another 14 kilometers to arrive to a village called Albaracin. Now there, now the road goes up. Um, I think four kilometers, gentle climb, I think. And then it's fairly downhill to the village, which I would love to get there as soon as possible because there is one grocery store and I hope it doesn't close too early because today is Saturday. So it's most likely only open in the morning. So now when I cook tortellini, I throw... Wait, when I... ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien? Todo en orden. ¿Dónde va usted? Doy la vuelta al mundo. ¿La vuelta al mundo? Sí. ¿Ustedes están haciendo montaña vacía? Pero ni con ni tienda de campaña, nada. Nada. Eh, muy fácil así. Eh, albergue. 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 Para gente que tiene mucha plata. <risa> no, no, no tenemos plata, no. No creas. Hombre, venimos tres días. No, no. Sí. Tres días. Muy rápido. 200 kilómetros al día. No, no hacemos. No, no hacemos, no hacemos monte de vacías entero, no. Ah, pedazo. Sí, el trozo, un trozo. Hacemos. So, these people are doing half of the Montañas Vacías and very light. They eat uh, at the bars and they sleep at the albergues. So they can be very, very light and they can cover lots of distance. What a beautiful place. Imagine to live here. Wouldn't it be nice? And you can if you buy that old house. That old farmhouse. And yeah, it's wonderful. Starting descending to Albaracin. I'm dreaming of a cold Pepsi or Coke or iced tea. Anything, just give me anything. like these Spanish vending machines are always delivering. Look at this. You can have a Sprite, Red Bull, iced coffee, Orangina, Monster, condoms, grinders, papers, dildo, but also a real pussy experience. I wonder how, it co how much it costs the real pussy experience. So, A62, A62. Right, 12, dollars, 12 euros. For 12 euros, you can have a real pussy experience.